question. I'm with you. Shara, should seven-year-olds be learning about gender pronouns and putting badges to say they're non-binary, waving rainbow flags? I think there are some preconditions that have to be met before anything like that happens, which are not happening. Um, there was a great report, actually, just a couple of months, launched a uh, policy exchange, Asleep at the Wheel, which yes. did an assessment of the fact that increasingly we've got non-government organisations, charities, so-called, coming into our schools. That reduces quality. Even the Green Party's own education policy makes it very clear that should be local authorities assessing quality. That's not happening. The fact that you've got a subset of schools doing this, that should raise some alarm bells about quality. Secondly, parental consent. Mm. Really important, vital, also part of Green Party education policy. They should be front and centre of what's going on in the schools. The fact that you have some of these syllabuses secret. Yes. Alarm bells. Schools. So, you know, big discussion to be had about the appropriateness, age appropriateness, when these come in. Um, I'm not a great fan of queer theory as such. I think that's a highly contested um, mm. theory. It shouldn't be promulgated. Mm. It is a political promulgation if it's presented as fact. Right. And schools should be working with parents, not against parents. Mm. Thank you both. That was Emma Webb and former deputy leader of the Green Party, Sharar Ali.